welcome inside China Arena, where tonight we've got an early season top 10 matchup as number 10 Providence plays host to number two, the Denver Pioneers. Mike Logan, Bridget Crew, glad to have you along with us. And now off the wall, they get it center point. McDonald, quick shot, and Davis makes the save. And early pushing and shoving. Obviously, Bridget, this has a, a late season feel in October. I mean, we're, we're only 30 seconds into this game, not even, and we're already getting that pushing and shoving out in front of the net. Riley works it out high to Chris. Now back to Duran. That shot, Davis to save, and able to corral the rebound. Schimmick knocked down. A couple assists in games against Providence. They work it across, a one-timer. Sped back at a piece of that, and it deflects up and out of play. And that was Jack Devine right there with the one-time opportunity saved by Spedback. Again, a tremendous turnout by the uh, students. Fires keeping Denver to the premium, and that rang off the post as Miko Manikin, freshman out of Helsinki, Finland, just rang that off the post. This shot, score, power play goal. So they hit the post on one side, but Denver finds it on the other, and it is a 1-0 lead. Shai Booyam, the junior defenseman with the goal. Yeah, Shai Booyam, the Detroit second round draft pick. You see they were getting these shots from the wings. And you see it gets set up here far side. It'll come to the near side. And that shot just right at the dot from Booyam to really just sneak it inside the post past Bedbeck and put Denver up 1-0. Slides it down deep. Centering feed and a shot by Yoder hit the side of the net. It's one of those things where you have a, a crowd like this, you want to get them involved early in the game, and it's you know tough falling behind by a goal. We got a penalty coming up against Denver. The two-man game for Shard Malinowski. Malinowski gets it back right to the net. Score! Hudson Malinowski, the power play goal, and we're even at one. They'll have a minute 13 remaining on the penalty to Yoder, but they're fortunate to be tied here at the end of 20. Bears will be back home tomorrow night. Centering feed here, whistle wide. As the RPI engineers, first trip to Schneider and a backhander score. And Denver's Jack Devine gives them a 2-1 lead. Yep, Jack Devine just able to find it right there on the rebound. Quickly making work and putting this Pioneers team up 2-1. to one. And Devine was someone we knew coming in that the Friars were going to have to keep an eye on. Just a little bit of a mishandling of the puck there down low by Centrella and Devine able to make the Friars pay. Fifth of the year for Devine. That's his first even strength. And Melash had speed, but overskated the puck. Now Needham, offensive end, drops for Tanner Adams. Backhander wide to the short side. Kelly, back down low to Adams. Centering feed, score! Yara Melash, beautiful set up by Tanner Adams, and we're tied at two. I will say this line has something clicking here tonight. Melash, you see with the finish, but Tanner Adams, making a few good moves to set this up. The freshman coming in and already making an impact here for the Friars, his fourth point in his PC career. You see the puck come back out in front to Himelash on the goal set up by Adams. Well, it's the third of the year for Yara, and the guy that made the play was Connor Kelly. As Kelly, he pivoted just a little, Bridget, like he was going to go back, drew the defender with him. Control sets up Rizzo, swings across to Vine. He's got one of the goals tonight. Now Rizzo on time, and that's blocked. And the 
Aaron Sounds, and it's been an intense 40 minutes. There's the guy that tied it up, Yara Hamelash. So through 40 minutes, Providence 2 and Denver 2 should be a good final 20 minutes coming up. And again, as you've said, he's going to have at least a half dozen tonight. I've been really impressed by him defensively tonight. I say by Spedback, and once again, though, Providence unable to cleanly get it out and down the back door. Now, ooh, a wraparound attempt, and the puck rolled off Duran's stick. I was thinking he was going to try the Michigan there for a second. Here's Duran to the net. Score! Second time is the turn for Riley Duran. And with 11 04 to go, Flyers have their first lead of the night. And this is exactly the guy we were saying if you get him the puck, he's going to be able to do good things for this Providence team. So you see him make this individual effort and able to first fake the wraparound, looking like he might try to lift it into a Michigan. We see him for the second time use that spin around move to create separation, goes on goal, and able to find a hole in Davis to put the Friars up for the first time tonight. Word of the year for the junior Riley Duran as that snuck through Davis. Now. Nope, good goal. That was worth a shot for David Carl in the Denver pen, but the goal by Duran stands, and Providence has its first lead of the night. Cal bumped, Yoda, good puck support. And we get a whistle. We have a penalty coming up. Going to be interference against Cal Keefew. And it's going to be the ninth Denver power play when we return on ESPN+. Plus. Under 10 seconds remaining, shot blocked. That one was McDonald, and it is cleared. Some open ice for Berard. Here's Brady Berard, a move toward the net. And Davis made the save, holding it at the post. Fires jamming, and now and Denver's going to pick up a penalty as Garrett Brown, the freshman, threw a shot up high, and the crowd loves to see that. Offensive end, Hamelash. Wins a puck battle there. Yara kicks it free to Harding. Down low, back in, a score! That's a power play goal for Tanner Adams, and Providence has needed insurance. Another great play by Tanner Adams, who has an assist in the game so far. He set up a goal earlier in the game. Now he has his own. He gets this weird bounce, as we'll see it, as it comes through the slot. The backhand pass. And Yoder not able to clear. And Denver looking to set up with the extra skater. Here's Rizzo. Perrins back to Rizzo. Shot score. Massimo Rizzo through a screen. And the Pioneers are back within a goal. And that's Rizzo's first goal of this season. This is a wrist shot that ends up beating Spedback, and this is exactly what they were looking to do with the extra attacker. Way along the boards, knocked down. Levens can't clear. Shot, nice save, Spedback. Rebound push wide. Pioneers across, and fanning on the one time it was Rizzo. Down to 10 seconds to go. Shot here, save, Spedback. Loose puck, and it is up the wall, not out. Now down to by the shot, but and point seven seconds remaining, just enough time to drop the puck. And Yoda wins it, and this place will explode as the Flyers hold on and beat number two Denver four to three. They're out to salute Philip Spedback. And he deserves a lot of credit for this win tonight, especially the barrage that Denver was able to put on late with the extra attacker. He lets in the one goal, but luckily for the Friars, that Tanner Adams goal had given them a two-goal cushion, and so he's able to stave off that last-minute attack from the Pioneers and bring the Friars what might be their best win of the season. A tremendous game here tonight at Schneider Arena.